video, let's go through five different tips on how you can create more cinematic looking hiking videos. Now, this is a style of filmmaking that I'm interested in because a lot of my adventures when I'm going out and telling my stories involve some sort of hiking, whether it's a mountain climb or it's just going to some abandoned ruins that are out in the forest somewhere. And so when I'm out doing these kind of adventures, I like to shoot the process of actually hiking to these locations. And so I use a few different ideas when I'm out filming to make these scenes look a lot more exciting than just putting the camera you know, on the side of the trail and filming me walk by. So when it comes to the word cinematic, creators will say that this is overused, but I think it's just a way to talk about a style of creating videos. Cinematic to me just means more thought put into the image and the cinematography, and also more thought put into the story. So boiled down when I'm talking about cinematic hiking videos, I'm talking about videos that look visually pleasing and also have more of a story. So recently I hiked 10,000 feet to find an airplane that had crashed in the side of the mountain. I'm interested in telling the story about this plane, but you know, the bigger picture of this mountain and kind of the tragedies that happen on this mountain, because this is the tallest mountain that's closest to Los Angeles. So there's a lot of people that go up here for day hikes and don't realize that it's a big mountain. 10,000 feet is a very big mountain. So before I actually went up to shoot my video, the story piece that I'm creating, I needed to do some reconnaissance. I needed to go see if I could find this downed airplane. And because this isn't a multi-day hike to get there, I could go do this before I actually go and film the video. Now, in some situations when you're going out and shooting like a hiking video, you're not gonna have this ability to pre-plan, but there are some things you can do on the front end to anticipate what is coming if you were to go film a story like this. So part of my reconnaissance when I went up to go check out if I could find this plane was filming some different scenes and figuring out what I like and what I don't like so that when I go back to film the bigger piece, I'm gonna have more of an idea of what I wanna actually capture when I'm up there. But let's go through five different things that I think are important when you're shooting these cinematic hiking videos. Now, number one is the hiking shots on a tripod. This is essential when it comes to creating hiking videos. But there's a few things you need to think about when you film yourself hiking through a scene because not every shot is gonna look good. You have to think of it like a landscape photographer and look at your scene and figure out, well, what's visually interesting about this scene and make more of a landscape composition and then have yourself walk through it. And a couple things that I try to do when I'm making these videos is get a lot of shots from me walking away from camera towards this beautiful landscape but I don't wanna just get those shots. I'll also bring the camera forwards and shoot backwards and also shoot up the trail, down the trail, or off to the side. Now you can go crazy with this and shoot way too much footage. And it's something that I suggest you go out and play around with. How many shots do you need to tell your story? Is it five shots from behind and two shots from the front? Or is it more like 15 shots? And it's gonna depend on the final output of what you're creating of how many shots you're actually going to need. I can't really tell you get this many shots, but it comes more from experience of doing it. So practicing is always one of those things that you wanna go out and do and just see how many shots. Now I've done another video about the nine shot rule for shooting a cinematic sequence. And this is something you can always default to if you just need a transition sequence between two different scenes. And so I'll link to that video down below in the description, but that's a great starting point of what to do when you're out filming one of these scenes. Now, besides the big wide landscape shots, you also wanna get detail shots. And so this is details of like the tree stump or the plant or like a stream passing by and you're showing yourself interacting with that scene. So try to frame these without having you being full frame in the shot. So maybe it's just your feet passing by or maybe it's just your midsection or just your head. Just vary it up so that you don't have just wide shots and you're also capturing detail shots of the scenes that you're interacting with. Now, a third thing that I think is really important is moving landscapes. So not every shot has to have you in it. And making a cinematic hiking sequence, I think it's important to grab some shots of the environment and make them moving shots because if you're putting your camera on a tripod and you're hiking through, well, every shot's gonna be very static, so it's nice to break that up with a few moving shots here and there. So if you could fly a drone at where you're at, it's always a great idea to get these big, nice, wide landscape shots and have your drone do something like a jib shot or an orbit or a push forward or a pull back, just and make it so that you're moving close to objects so that you see a lot of motion in these shots. 
when you capture these beautiful moving shots, it's gonna complement the static landscape style shots that you're capturing with the camera on the tripod. Now, number four, I think is a big one, and that is the use of light. So when you're filming and you just have lots of sunlight hitting the location, it's not gonna look as pleasing. Whereas if you can find an angle where there's contrast in the scene, it's gonna be much more visually pleasing and much more cinematic. So something I like to do is always try to capture the sun in a few shots, and I'll stop down my lens so I get that star burst up in the sky as it's peering through the trees. Now there are definitely times where the sun's gonna be right overhead and there's not gonna be a whole lot of shade. And it's not bad, but you just wanna make sure if you have the opportunity to add more contrast into your shots, that you do that. And I think number five is one of the most important aspects and that is having a clear objective. When you're going out to shoot a cinematic hiking piece, the audience is gonna enjoy the visuals. They're gonna enjoy the peacefulness of the hike and the beautiful shots that you're capturing. But there's still this element of story. You wanna have a reason why you're hiking. And if you're making a video where there's no talking, well, you could still have story in those videos. And so when you're putting all the pieces together, well, you wanna think of like an intro, getting to the location, maybe parking your car, getting out, setting up your gear before you get on the hike. You wanna show the entire experience and you also wanna show story beats throughout. So if you stop and you put down your pack and you have a lunch break, well, you might wanna show that and film different scenes around that. And you'll wanna capture that so you have more than just hiking shots. And you always wanna have your end in mind. So is there a specific location that you're going to? When I was out filming, I had a goal of finding this airplane wreckage. And so that was the climax of this video is finding this wreckage and grabbing some shots, exploring it. And the ending could be as simple as getting back to your car and putting your feet up and relaxing and showing that you've finished the hike. So even if you're not crafting a super detailed story, there are still elements of story that you should add into every video that you're creating. And next, if you wanna see some more tips on how you shoot outdoor videos, check out this video right here. It goes through a tons of tips around gear and different ideas when you're out filming in an outdoor setting. I'll see you on the next one.